Welcome to this short demonstration of the ExoDraft Control EFC-18, which is a manual and temperature controlled unit. EFC-18 is a fan control unit with nine speed levels, which can be adjusted by using a push button, nine being the highest speed level and one being the lowest. You switch between the speed levels by pressing down the button until the wanted level appears in the display. From standby mode, which is shown by a red line in the display, you gain access to the user menu where the data regarding the temperature sensor can be set. In standby mode, the button is pressed down for five seconds. This gives access to user option zero, operation without sensor. Option one, start stop temperature, 20 degrees. Option two, start stop temperature, 40 degrees and option 3, start-stop temperature, 80 degrees. Once the selection is made, press the button again to exit the menu. The temperature sensor for EFC-18 is installed below the fan, on top of the chimney, where it registers the flue gas temperature. This means that should you forget to turn on the fan, the sensor will register the increase in temperature and automatically start the fan at the set temperature. Having put the last log on the fire before turning in for the night, the temperature sensor will automatically register when the temperature drops. When the chimney has cooled enough to reach the set temperature, an acoustic alarm will sound, after which the fan will run for 45 minutes before it's automatically turned off. This minimizes the consumption of electricity and prevents the fan from drawing out unnecessary heat from the stove and house during the night. EFC-18 must be wired with a five core cable, four and one ground connection, and should be connected with a service switch on top of the chimney so that the power to the fan can be switched off externally. EFC 18 comes with a 1.25 amp fuse. And if no voltage is measured between the terminals three and four, the fuse should be examined or exchanged. Be careful when the control unit is open like this there are 230 volts on the open terminals. In some cases, it may be necessary to ensure that the control unit receives 230 volt supply voltage. This can be tested by using a voltmeter and is measured between the terminals one and two. In other cases, it may be necessary to ensure that there's voltage between 80 volts and 190 volts from the control unit to the fan. This can be tested by using a voltmeter and is measured between the terminals 3 and 4. 